we just saw the value expression where we had two scenarios both were hard coded one with a hash and another with without hash so we'll come back to value expression again with more complex scenarios where we will populate the value dynamically from other internal tables but for now we'll we'll look into the next four operators and how we can use it as usual we'll come to our edit and we'll try to comment the earlier codes and then we'll write our new syntax or the new feature which we have in ABAP 7.4 so the next one which we want to see is for operator so um, I'll, I'll, I'll not speak much if I write the code probably you will be able to understand so if you have done any C programming or any JavaScript probably it you'll be able to see that is similar to those syntaxes so let me have one input string okay I'll say data I'll say in, uh, input input say type say length I can give any length say 20 I'll give a value um, value I'll give you sub alphanumeric say x y z a b c 1 2 3 anything okay I'll give some value and let's define one more say I'll define a table itab type table of care table of um, c1 okay or character length one so this is spelling mistake l n g t h and then I'll just populate um, say data I'll do a runtime so we have already seen the value so now I'll see the string length I'll show you string length which we already have in ABAP so we'll do s t r l e n we're just trying to find the length of this variable INP so which is in this case it is XYG 3 3 6 8 6 9 9 characters long so the num NO underscore carry will have 9 and now see the ITAP so let's let's see how we can use the value operator value operator which we saw in the previous video so we'll we'll populate it okay so value operator here I'll just give a full stop and now let's see the for operator now for i equals to 0 so I have not defined i anywhere but still I can use it for i equal to 0 until so I'll say until i is greater than or equal to the last i is greater than or equal to what I'll do number of character so number of character may be say 9 and then what I'll do I'll do INP plus i and 1 so so hope you can understand what I am trying to do here so what I did okay I I don't need a space here so see it is syntactically correct so what I am doing I am giving an input which is 9 character alphanumeric I am declaring an internal table which is of type C1 means one character I try to find how many characters are there in this variable INP so for our case is 9 so from 1 um, from i equal to 0 means 0 till i is greater than equal to number of character so when it is 9 so we will do INP i1 so what is INP i1 so we are assigning the one character from two items so for first first one item is 0 so it will be 0 and 1 0 and 1 means the first character of INP so it will be X so then it will go to next loop so next time the I will be 1 so it will be 1 1 so 1 1 is the second character Y third it will be in the next loop it becomes 2 so it will be 2 1 so it will be Z so it will so this item will have X Y Z A B C 1 2 3 as the table values so let's let's um, if you are not able to visualize let's do do a write statement loop at i tab into data so this is inline declaration so going forward you should always use inline declaration it saves time and then i'll do a write write uh, i'll do concatenate my favorite value of uh, line or row i'll say row first row what is the first row side tab x it should be curly braces Psi, psi, t a b i x, psi tab x. Value of first row, value of row one is say 
what is the value of row 1 ls ls all right let's test it so is, 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 this is crying the statement okay there's a typo w r i t e so are we good all right we are good now activate it is so activated successfully now let's test so here you go here is the output so value of table i tab first row is x second row is y third row is z so so this is the output so this is how you do a for loop so if you are still not clear let's debug let's debug and see how i tab is there all right so when i pressed f8 it stopped in this line of the code while i had put the debugger so this this has already executed now let's see what is i tab so if i go here i double clicked on i tab see what is the values in the table line first row is x this is for i tab okay x first row is for x second row is y so or you can if you are not sure you can just type type here if you double click it will do the same thing and you can look here and expand so this is the deb uh, debugger our debug perspectives so you see here this is x first row and type c c1 character line so this is how the table looks hope this uh, let me f8 and then come back to our perspective so hope you understand how we can use your four operator okay for i is equal to so and it is very similar to c or c plus which you learned in your college test